Okay, hello everybody and welcome back to the second season of Mass Effect 3 where I have an important announcement to make and I've been meaning to do this for like a week now and I just haven't had the time to play Mass Effect 3. But we all know, I mentioned Jen, right? Or um, her name is Parashizo Zokt. I can't ever say it right. She's got her channel that she's just started and we, we've known her by Jen. Sometimes you'll see her in the comments or in the Twitch streams. So if you haven't checked her channel out, Go do so. It's awesome. Uh, she's playing the game and speaking in German, which I think is fantastic. I think it's great. And I know a lot of you actually do know or speak German natively. So go check her out if you want. She's really, really good. She's got really cool thumbnails and everything. And she plays great. <laughs> um, I love I love watching her stuff and practicing my German. But we've also got a new friend who's doing a channel, and it's Roma. And some of you may know Roma from from the from the live streams and from seeing her in the comments. But she's also got a channel that she's starting, and she has two videos out now. But the thing about her channel is that she's doing something really unique called um, they're like chance let's plays. And what she's doing basically is she's creating a, cha a character in Mass Effect called Chauncey. It's the name. And basically, every decision that she makes in the game is decided by rolling a dice. And it's awesome. So, like, you get, like, really cool combinations of decisions. So, like, you get, like, I mean, like, and she, the way she, the character creation is all done through chance. Like, she rolls a dice. And, like, she explains it all in her videos, like, how she chooses, you know, what dice she uses. Anything from, like, a D6 to, like, a D20, you know. And she shows it on the screen. She has this little dice that she rolls. And everything and she like puts the screen up to like show like you know this is one through two three through four five through six stuff like that I, I'm not explaining it very well her, hers her she explains it really really well but it's really cool so like, she gets these really interesting looking characters who make really strange what seems like strange decisions and also really funny ones you can go from being paragon in one second to renegade in another and but it, it's it's awesome because it, like like she says it in her description it shakes up game it shakes up the game a little bit even for games that you love that might be get a little bit tiring kind of shakes the game up a bit so it's really cool and I probably should just just go check her out it looks really really cool uh, I'll put a link in the description it's Roma Temps Fate is the name of her channel and it's really good it's a really cool idea we've been talking about it for a while now and she's 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 finally doing it and I'm super excited. And just grab your popcorn. It's really epic. It's awesome. I guess I could have been doing that while I was like searching because my plan at this point is to. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> looks a little freaky. <laughs> he looks a little freaky. Anyway, my plan, if my dog and my sister are done distracting me, are. Um, is to get a couple of the things we haven't gotten yet from like the AP and crest and stuff oh and I have to give before I forget actually let me go give this thermal pipe to Adams okay sorry about that my dog might be whining in the background because he wants to get out but yes yeah, so no I was just I'm just really excited about everybody starting their channels and it's so cool so thanks cool. commander that GX Yay. thermal pipe arrived Performing the modifications right now. Wow, your neck is at a. Whoa! Damn Horton here. Hey, didn't Adam say that all the Normandy is eating? Kenneth, stop right there. Oh. I'm tell Joker. He'll get jealous. <laughs> I was wondering where Donnelly was. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, man. I suppose we should go see. I have to ask, do all war reporters look so um feminine? I mean, you're made up so well. We actually have a research department for that. They focus test looks, voice, manner. Apparently, girly is good. Sorry, pay more attention. Solarians relate to high-pitched voices. And Turians? Turians are nuts. A civilization of war nerds. Loyal viewers, but they write the craziest <laughs> fan mail. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Cerberus stealthily strikes star system shield. No, glad I read that one out loud. Yeah. Yeah. I never really understood what this all was. If she is she like an investigator or what? Like I don't know. 
But yeah, I'm excited. I'm very excited for everybody and their little channels and, and their amazing channels. And it's going to be great. And we're going to have such a good time. It's going to be so fun. It's going to be so fun. How do you see with only two eyes? Evolution has taken a strange turn in this cycle. Yeah, well, we don't need to, you know, see out of a corners. Your joker pilot insists I call myself <laughs> Prothe the Prothean. I insisted he allow me to throw him out the airlock. <laughs> Commander. Yo. It looks like he's like playing with little, like that's a, those are ammo clips. Those are like modifications for weapons, I think, that he's got there, just on the ground, which doesn't seem like something he would do. But, you know, whatever. Yeah, it's good to be back. It's good to be playing this again. Nope. Gosh dang it. I keep trying to go to the top. Oh, we should check out my, my fish feeder. I got the fish feeder last time. I got I got it in preparation of getting my jellyfish because I don't want them to die. So I can still feed them. Well, where's the automatic fish feeder? I don't see it. I'd like to be able to see it doing its thing. You're okay. Everything is ship shape and what's not. Oh, and I got my got a couple new. There's one one new model. But yeah, just want to keep just want to keep talking about them. Their channels are really cool. They did like their art and everything. They put a lot of work into them. Like I'm like, oh man, maybe I should start working harder. <laughs> like they both have like edited thumbnails and stuff and it's a little thing, but I'm like, man, that just makes them look so much more like on top of things, you know? So that's why you might see some edited thumbnails from me with like the titles and stuff coming out. Not for everything, because I can't, like, I don't know, going back in time would certainly be a... Like, doing, like, a bunch would be... It would be interesting. But I don't think I'm gonna do that. <laughs> I'll definitely for, uh, when Andromeda comes out. Which, by the way, I don't plan on putting Andromeda videos out, like, immediately ASAP as soon as Andromeda comes out. I'm gonna try and actually wait a day before playing, just in case there's any weird, like, uh, day one patches and stuff that I don't want to have to worry about. Oops. Um, plus, I want to give you guys a chance to start the game and everything. Yeah, I can't go to the Apian Crest yet. <laughs> I did. I did give it to him. The GX12 thermal pipe. Okay. Well, we can't get the heating unit stabilizers. Can't get the Book of Plenix yet. I don't really want to start the Dr. Bryson thing just yet. Well, that basically leaves us with the Turian Platoon. Wow, okay. Really? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Off we go then. I'm a little bit under the weather. If you guys at the live stream the other day, which you guys, you guys should totally come join us sometime. It's really fun. I'll actually, pl I'm planning on doing one on Christmas Eve, <laughs> or yeah, no, uh, I did one on Christmas Eve, and I'll be doing one New Year's Eve just for a little bit during the day for over here. Okay, maybe now that everybody's done barging into my room and the dog's done barking, maybe, maybe we can get something done. Now that I'm. Mostly done gushing over my friends and their cool stuff that they're doing.
actually, I, I, I think somebody has mentioned it to me before, but I just, I saw a tweet the other day from Drew Karpshin, actually. He will occasionally answer old Mass Effect questions. He has nothing to do with the new ones. Uh, with the, or, or with, you know, he had nothing to do with 3 and, and Andromeda. Yeah. Don't want to cure the genophage yet. Um, but yeah, somebody asked, but they, they couldn't remember if the relays were populated or not. And I was like, oh, that's a good question. And I think it's come up before in discussions with you guys, but I was just like, he said, no, as of, as of when he was there working, working at, cause he's back, back at Bioware again, but he's not working on the Mass Effect stuff. But when he was, the relays were not populated. So. Um, and Garrus, yes. Yes, this will be my squad this time. It'd be interesting to bring Javik, but. I like to bring James to Chanka because he likes to go to Chanka. Oh yeah, oh! I must have just given that to myself. Or something, I don't know. It was fun to use, so... I guess I'll keep it. Cause why not? My recharge speed isn't horribly affected by it. Good, you've got... Oh man, the Vindicate, really? Well, capacity doesn't really matter. So, fire rate for your assault rifle. Gee, you want that to be kind of high. Oh, I need to really work on my assault rifle. The only one that's really fully upgraded is the particle rifle. Well, sure. Weapon stability. Sure, we'll do that. Increases the damage. Yeah. Sure. Well. I mean, technically it's better, but I really like a Matic or the Vindicator for him. Let's try out the Matic and see see how that goes. Yeah, we'll get the billet, the piercing ones. And let's Yeah, we'll do no we'll do accuracy. Okay. The eviscerator. Yeah. And you should be good. Excellent. Oh, points. Hmm. Ammo pier armor piercing ammo or proximity mine. So obviously for this, Garrus would get the headshot damage. Increase health and armor damage. Whoa. Whoa. Let's just do proximity mine for now. And frag grenade. Ooh. Let's do the impact radius. Yeah, Shepard, it looks really cool. Oh, dang it, wait, no, I wanted to get the defense drone off. Ah, oh, I forgot, because the defense drone is useless. 
Oh well. Because yeah, I real yeah, uh, yeah, you guys you guys saw that part where I realized what what I did wrong with the defense drone I, by choosing it at all and thinking that it was the attack drone. This crash site's a nightmare. Edie, try to raise Lieutenant Victus. Yes, ma'am. Praetorian Commander, what happened here is. Let's just say the Turian code is not forgiving. And that it's his son is bad for the Primarch. Promoting family without merit can bite you in the ass. What's strange is the Primarch knows that. Commander, I have to land well back from the main crash site. Is that the best you can do? Yes, ma'am, but the Reapers seem unaware of our presence. You might get the jump on them. All right, set her down. Let's save this platoon. That's why I bring Garrus, too, because it's definitely a Turian thing. Garrus knows what he's talking about. Garrus looks good in that camo armor. It does seem to be glitching out a little bit, though. Edie, did you raise Lieutenant Victus? Yes, but the connection is bad. Patch me in. This is Commander Shepard, Alliance Navy. Do you read? This is Lieutenant Tarquin Victus of the 9th platoon. We're pinned by Reaper harvesters and taking heavy casualties. Also, there are pockets of my men scattered along the crash trajectory. Lieutenant. I need you to fire a flare so I can find your position. That was prompt. Got it. Things get worse by the minute. My men are dying. This sounds bad. Let's move. Mm. I remember this one. He had it. I feared. Whoa. What? Oh, God. Oh, God. Yeah, you, you. Um, he had two options. And he went with one, and it didn't, like, it's just, it's like things that happened to Shepard. Thoughts? Thoughts? Turian, you tell us. <laughs> I got nothing. That's why I bring you, Garrus. Shh. See him. Quick. We don't want them to call for backup. <laughs> I have my okay good I have my sniper rifle on no I guess we'll, we'll talk about it later when it when it happens but I I feel bad for the guy escape pod our first casualties survived the crash just in time for a harvester to take him out died in the explosion or dragged out and chewed on by husks yeah well, they don't look chewed on, so... Oh, hey! A pistol! Yeah! New pistol! Weight... Ooh, the weight increases drastically. Fire rate... Damage is about the same. Accuracy goes up. Oh, come on, let me mod it. Okay, no, wait. Okay, okay, good. So we hit the weight mod. Okay, so that's when it does it automatically. Is when it does it in the field, it just automatically transfers the mods over to the new weapon that you've picked up if you want. I know. Yeah, no, I want the SMG, not a pistol. Wow, okay, no, yes. But that is a pistol, but it's cool, so I'm going to use it for now. <laughs> yeah, I needed it because I remember Frogger told me. <laughs> The all-seeing eye frog raider told me that the the submachine gun's good for the pistol, which makes sense because it's the uh, fire rate. I get a much better, you know, having the balance on the fire rate here, which which is good. Friggin', I just saw a post today about like a whole bunch of mods for Mass Effect 3. And I was like, oh my gosh, like, Whoa, my neck! Enemy, and there's an escape pod just beyond. Looks like the Turians are in tough. Enemies up ahead don't know we're here. Surprise on our side for once. I like it. Exactly. Let's go. <laughs> all right, all right. Got 
Got the drop on those ones at least. an ammo on and so do you oh wait no okay that's good too how about your head it's hard to hit the cannibals heads because they're ah they're like down in their what Harvester. Oh, buddy. Do headshots do any damage to you? <laughs> Come on. Oh, let me, uh, off. Jebbard, this is how you did it before, right? <coughs> nope. No, we can't go over there. How do you want me to just jump? No, not just jumping. Oh, just jump that way, really? No? Then where do you want me to go? Oh. Well, come on. It's like freaking Shepard could totally jump that. It's like unstable, but she could do it. So it looks like we crash into an old Krogan, uh, like, facility of some sort. Or they did, anyway. Keep him out for those sweet pickups. Whoa, James. Keep moving. We need to find the main crash site ASAP. Uh oh. This is a lot to live up to. It's a big military name on Avalon. War is expected to run in the victor's blood. It doesn't always work that way. You gotta make your own name. Ah. Uh. Garrus knows that too. Whoa! The what? The phasaton? Whoa! The whoa! Accuracy goes down and so does damage. Uh, it's got a high capacity and a high fire rate though. Now we'll leave you with what we've got you on. Let's try. Let's try you on the phase ton. Oh come on! It's, the mods aren't gonna switch over on him. Fine. There you go, Garrus. There's lots of pickups here. What I kind of don't want to know if these are the if these are the guys we just saved, you know. in like a rubble. 
I think I do think it's. We got the job. I, my lead. I do think it's interesting that we. Uh, ooh, hi. That we automatically assume something went bad when that might not be the case. Oh, come on. You were mostly down before. The harvesters are scary. Look at that face. They're oh my gosh, there's husks everywhere. Invisibly, invisibly. Ah! I can't, where are they at? Are they all gone? I'm trying! Uh, we're all out of, uh... Come on! Oh wait, I should've been using the dang damn... Saved all those men. Did we? Over here. I heard one dude go. Oh god! Ah. There it is. Though. No. Oh god! Come on. You can't. You can't go see it. But I actually got one of those for Christmas. Shut up, Gears. I got a Turian cruiser for Christmas. That's what that is. I'm pretty sure. It's pieces of a Turian cruiser. Where it is? I was very excited. I have all three Normandies, but I didn't have all the. Uh, I, I want to get all the ships that they have available eventually for my collection. For my collection. So I was excited. You two look ready and raring to go. Whoa! I mean, it's not just like an underground bunker looking thing. These were like skyscraper type things that they had. Back in the Krogan heyday. Shepard here, what's your status? We're in deep. Commander, what's your ETA? Hang tight. We're on our way. Arnick, how's our velocity? Deceleration online. We'll survive. Victus is going to pay for this. Court martial or hanging? What? How's Victus going to live this down? When we find him, we'll ask. I, I still don't really understand what. I mean, like, it, it's a, a crash. It happened. It's happened to us before. Like. I don't know. What happened to Victus could have happened to anybody. Yeah, take that. Oh, I think I remember that last time. You could like, you could like, it's like calls this guy junk. I was like, that's just horrible. Oh wow. He's a planking master. Look, James. It's our first decent-ish view of the surface of Tachanka. <sighs> he had two options, and he went with the one that he thought was best, and then something bad happened. Like, I really don't see what... I mean, they, the mission isn't over yet, you know? Shepard here. Ah! A lot of in your path. Understood. Stupid harvester. As long as you're not husks. Is it coming behind us? Because that would be just a horrible situation. Oh crap, there's a Turian guy, Marauder, back there somewhere. Oh, there you are. Look 
really cool up close. Whoa! Whoa! You just, oh god, I'm not paying attention. through there that was that was horrible nobody look This guy's gonna shoot me. Yay! Okay, let's pick it up. It's important we don't lose this squad. Here's where politics pisses me off. Wouldn't the Krogan want to blow these Reapers the hell off their own planet? The Krogans are in animals and it's ancient and intense. It's inborn. And I need them to work together, so let's not complicate things. It's not inborn. It's taught to them at birth. Not inborn, though. It really is. A really, oh, there it is. See, there it is. Turian Cruiser. I don't. I don't blame Victus. I don't blame him. I mean, yeah, this is just a rough situation. Let's switch back over. No going back now. <clears throat> Come on, let me pick it up. No. All right, let's move. Right behind you. For Balaban. Where's the Marauder? Dang it, I wasted Garrus's. If you 
we're just out in the middle of nowhere. I guess I'll put that away for now. Green. Get off. achievement or no I just I, I'm like halfway to the veteran achievement nice why aren't you being damaged Marauder. oh I think I shot him right before his shields went down you did Exactly, buddy. Whew! Saved your life. just popping out of the do I need to like get around and get the harvester because that's a tall order Vague, vague recollections of this being. Ooh, that was cool. Ooh, that was cool. Oh, yo, wow. Oh, the harvester was like right next Over to here. you, bros. Man. <sighs> Leave.
Lieutenant Victus? Commander Shepard, my men and I are in your debt. Thank you for saving so many. What happened here? He screwed up. Stand down, soldier. These men are dead because of him. I said, stand down. Hey, I just saved all the <laughs> lives. Everyone just calm down. <laughs> Lieutenant, what's going on here? I made a bad call. This is all on me. I chose caution and clever tactics over a head-on attack. And my men paid the price. That's what his dad would have done. His dad would have done the same thing. You mean the crash? Yes. We could see on Hollow that Reaper forces were blocking our intended path. Staying on course guaranteed heavy casualties. So I chose a safer route, skirting the enemy. And that took us low and through these ruins. When we encountered resistance, there was no room to maneuver. Suddenly, we were in a fight for our lives. A lot of my men lost that fight. Man, it's, a, it's a call anybody would have made. I mean, really, like, it seemed like the better option. Owning your mistake takes guts, but you have to get over it and move on. Of course. It's just fresh right now. Our mission's still a failure. When we've stabilized the injured, we'll head back to the fleet. You're abandoning your mission? We're down over 30 men. It'd be suicide. What exactly did you come here to do? There's a bomb on the planet. We were sent to defeat. He just tells me. Woo! How big? Enormous. Cerberus has it. Lieutenant, if Cerberus has that bomb, you have to finish your mission. Haven't these men sacrificed enough? I understand. This kind of sacrifice is the hardest to ask for, but your men signed on for it, and so did you. My men have lost hope, Commander. Even if I wanted to finish the mission, they don't. It's your job to make them want to. Yeah. How? <laughs> Their sacrifice means that others will never face what they faced here today. Remind them that those sacrifices have no honor if the mission fails. Exactly. You gotta appeal Men, to Turian honor. I own what happened here today. But we have to carry on. No, we don't. Who cares about a few dead Krogan? It's over. We are Turian. And we will not let Cerberus succeed. Our sacrifice is the difference between life and death for this entire galaxy. Let the heroes of the Ninth Platoon be remembered for performing their duties with bravery. All right, men. Shuttle's arriving any minute. We're moving out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Commander, come with us. We're a shell of what we were. We could use the help. Send me the nav point. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. That'll give us time to do a little recon. See what we're up against. Victus, you have a second chance here. Make their sacrifice count. Understood, Commander. Hope to see you at the rendezvous. Indeed. Very promising young boy. He does seem pretty young for the mission, but he did exactly he did exactly what his dad would have done in that situation. One of those situations where, like, in a video game, like if this was the if, you, if he was the main character, it would have worked, you know. But in this situation, it just goes to sh it's just showing you, that, like, you know, you have these options and. Cerberus bomb. What the hell is going on? Sometimes Commander? it works, and sometimes it doesn't. Have to do with it. Coordinates Victus gave me place in the Kelphic Valley. It's a heavily populated area. That's all I know. My gut says something's not right here. What do you suggest? Get the Primarch to come clean. Should we alert the Krogan military? I'd wait. We're in the dark here. Krogan Turian relations are fragile until the genophage is cured. Let's not push it. And how about this bomb? How many troops does Cerberus have on this? No idea. All I know is we can't have them detonating that bomb. Keep me in the loop. Hack it out. <laughs> hey, buddy. I'm Mark Victus. Impressive work on Tuchanka. I'm grateful that... Why didn't you tell me about the Cerberus bomb? Why hide that? What else are you keeping from me? I have nothing for you. For our alliance to work, I need to trust you. Our friendship is new, Commander. Would you trust me with information that puts your people, puts Earth, at risk? Why would I jeopardize our alliance by lying to you now? It doesn't make sense. 
Decisions like these weigh heavy on me. When I was a general, I could pass them up the chain of command. But now, I'm all I've got. You know what I mean? Sure. And? And... And that's all. Wait, there is one more thing, Commander. Thank you for saving my son. Of course. I forget that we have this little break, like you go rescue the thing and then, but I think we still have to finish it, right? It's not done yet. We have to go to the nav point. Oh yeah. The Krogan power grids are supplying energy. So everybody can be happy. The Kryptarian Sunday Night Flotilla distinguished itself during the Krogan Rebellions when they clashed with the Krogan warships above Digirius. The 79th sacrificed himself in great numbers to bring down Krogan vessels attacking the colony. Centuries later, the flotilla continues to rely on speed and stealth to harass the enemy. They run interference, divert fire, and make bombing runs on enemy ground units until anti-air defenses manage to target them. Woo! We're almost at the minimum. Don't worry, we'll max it out. Let's see the... Yep, so now it's the bomb. Alright. Well, I think we're gonna leave that one there. That's not that's not as long as I thought it was gonna be, so that's good. But yeah, guys, feel free to go check out Roma and Parashizo's channels. Uh, they're fantastic, and I'm excited for them. And they're going places, and it's just cool. And thank you guys for watching my stuff. I appreciate you for sticking with me this long. <laughs> it's been a fun, it's been a fun adventure, and I couldn't imagine my life without it right now. You guys are great. So thanks again. I'll see you in the next one.